book, something deep, something good. And one of his books, it's called Urhot Yosher. It's the path of the of straightness. It's a guide to a Torah lifestyle. So let's see what the rabbi writes. He has every letter of the alphabet. And um, he begins with the letter Aleph. Aleph, he begins with the word Emet. Truth. How highly did our rabbis speak about the attribute of truth? And they said, You know, you go sometimes, you need a stamp. A notary, a judge, or whatever it is. You need a stamp. Hashem also has a stamp, a seal. What does it say in Hashem? Seal, emit. Truth. That's how Hashem signs it. Why? Because we don't see always emit. You see sometimes one guy did something bad to another guy. He says, ah, and he's this is not right. You, we don't see the truth. Why? We don't have the whole picture. But a person who was there in the beginning and he saw the middle and he sees the end, this is a person who has emit. He sees the whole picture. It's all clear in front of him. We see the middle of the picture. I'll give you an example. Imagine I come to synagogue um, and everybody's getting aliyah. One guy gets aliyah, the next guy gets aliyah, the third guy gets aliyah. And I said, I don't believe it. They didn't, they didn't give the rabbi an aliyah. What's going on? Yes, seven guys get an aliyah. The rabbi didn't get an aliyah. What's wrong with the synagogue? No, but you don't understand. Maybe in the morning or maybe the day before, or maybe three days ago, they give the rabbi an aliyah. So you don't see the whole picture. That's why what? That's why to you it's an injustice. But when you see the whole picture, the beginning, the middle, and the end, that's called emet. So Hashem signs emet, truth. Now look and listen to this. Our rabbis say, Hakol bara hakadosh baruchu chutz mimidat hashekel. Hashem created all of the attributes, except for the attribute of lying. Umidat avla, And the attribute of injustice. Why? Because all other bad characters, sometimes you need them. Sometimes you need gordest. Sometimes you need gordest. Sometimes. Sometimes you need anger. Sometimes you need other uh, midot that are not always good. But you need them sometimes. Necessary. But the midah of, of sheker, you didn't need it in the world. God didn't create the midah of sheker in the beginning. When did sheker come into the world? If people did not sin, there would never have been falsehood in the world. Man caused injustice injustice and falsehood to be created because of his sins. Now you want to know something. You want to live a long life. You want to live there. You want to live a long life. The best sigula to live a long life is to tell the truth. The more a person is connected to truth, the more a person speaks the truth and he lives the truth. He's not a contradiction. He's a truthful person. Such a person is going to have arichut yamim v'shanim. Long life. There was a city... Yeah. Yeah. And there was a city called Kushta. Kushta means a city of truth. They would only speak the truth over there. And the Gemara says nobody would die in a car accident. Nobody would drown. Nobody would have uh, medical mistakes. Nobody died before their time. Everybody lived a nice ripe age. Why? Because they spoke truth in that city. They were makhbi to speak the truth. And one time there was a person who came to the city and he said a little lie. A little lie, and right away, two people died in the city. Two people died in the city, and the guests, the other guests, the people of the city, they came to him and they said, what's going on? Why is this happening? Two people in his family passed away. And they said to him, it must be you told a lie, please leave our city. We cannot have you in our city, you're, you're a liability. Insurance is going to go up. Why? It's like in Florida. Yeah, deal. A flood insurance, very high. So too, when you're in our city, insurance is going to go up. Get out of here. Yeah, they kicked him out of the city. Why? Because truthhood... Telling the truth is the best sigula to live a long life. One more thing, you want to have shalom, you want to have peace? Shalom is dependent on truth. The more emet you have in your life, the more shalom you're going to have. The less emet you live with, the less shalom you're going to have. <clears throat> he says, a person who speaks the truth, he's saved from all sins. The Midrash says, there was a certain person, he did so many, so many sins. He went after his ta'avot, after his desires. And one day he decides, you know what? I want to do teshuvah. He went to Rabbi Shimon ben Chata and said, Rabbi, I want to do teshuvah, please help me. The rabbi said, you want to do teshuvah? Take upon yourself to always tell the truth. He said, I take upon He said, swear. And he swore to the rabbi, I will always tell the truth. And you have to know that one day, his neighbor left her house 
And so he wanted to go inside her house. He went in her house and he, he wanted to steal all her jewelry, all her silver, all her gold. He gathered everything together. <clears throat> He's about to leave the house and he says, wait, my neighbor right now is going to come back home. She's going to see everything's missing. She's going to come to me. She's going to say, do you know what happened? Do you know who robbed me? Did you take my stuff? That's not true to her. I'm going to say no, but wait, I swore to the rabbi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I swore to the rabbi that I wasn't going to lie. He says, because of that swear that I... <laughs> because he swore to the rabbi, he put back all of the jewelry, he put back all of the stuff, and he left. So you see here that a person who tells the truth, it protects a person from what? From doing Averot.